Hello YouTube friends. Hope everybody's been doing well. Getting stuff around done around your house. Came out wrong. Already a blooper. Uh, today what we're gonna do is pedal assembly refurbishment. Now I never had to do any of this before on any of my beetles, but these pedals were in a box that came with my car since it's a project car. The uh, this it's all stiff, a lot of it. The clutch pedal's moving, but the brake one, well, it's not moving very well. So what I'm gonna do, I was told there's a, a drift pin, I think I found it, uh, it looks to be right in that area there. I'm gonna try to knock that out. It's been in there probably 50 years, so I'll knock it out, we'll pull this apart, clean it up, and I'll make us a two-part film, although I'm gonna wire wheel all this while it's apart and spray paint, you know, make them nice and fresh again. You know, so everything's nice and painted and clean like it was from the factory. I even have a new kit with all new rubbers. It's still sealed. New rubber pads and everything, you know, for pedal assembly. So let's get on this and see exactly what I do to get this all apart. I'm gonna find out real quick so we'll all find out together although some of you may have already done this before but what the heck I gotta do it so you might as well watch or maybe not let's get on it okay first thing I'm gonna do here is get the gas pedal off of here so I don't break it uh, you have a pin right there and it needs put punched out so and that'll take the uh, pedal off you can see it's inside of there and it runs through so I'm gonna go ahead and I already PB blasted it so I wonder which way it pushes out I'll find out here in a second yeah it comes out that way okay a little more There it comes. Just a simple drift pin with a notch. And the pedal comes off. For right now, I'm going to slip it back in the pedal, though, so I remember which way that pin went in, and then I'll clean it up later. See a drift pin there on the clutch pedal, and then on the other side, I should say a roll pin. I think it comes out this way. I'm not sure. So I'm going to try to hit it that way and see if that actually works. I don't know if I'm going the right direction with it. I think my vise is too small to get this in there. Maybe not. i got to wedge this in there so I can hit it. Oh, There we go. Okay, well, I'm going to try laying it on a bench and doing it. I see this is not going to be as easy as I thought to get this pin out. No, this keeps sliding off. Oh boy. Yeah, this one's going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one if I'm pounding it in the right way. I don't even know. I'll let that soak for a second. Okay, I was trying to get the pin out and obviously it's not cooperating. So I'm gonna use map gas. I don't have oxygen and acetylene. Now if you're doing this, please be responsible. Don't act like a moron. Torches, you know, they're highly flammable, combustible. And I can't... There we go. This is going to be a really crappy YouTube clip here. That's the kind of crap I do. Try not to. Okay. So, let's see if that pin will move now. Well, I can feel the heat coming off of that. Okay. Look at there. That helped. 
That helped. A little bit of map gas. A little bit of map gas there. I'm sorry about the can. I don't got nobody to film me today. Okay, now. Oh. There's the crappy part because it's hot. And I can't grab a hold of it. And it stopped gumming. Okay, well then, why don't we heat some more? Can't hurt. Helped the first time. Heat it up a little bit more. See if that works. Leave that on there. Ooh. Ouch. Whole assembly got hot. Really? Oh well. That's bad. Now I can't hold it anywhere. it again. Ow! At least everybody's getting entertained. I'm getting burned to hell and back here. Come on. Hey! Alright. Well, I can't pick it up because everything is smoldering hot. The whole assembly but here's the pin that came up like a little roll pin so hopefully when I get to put it back together and wire wheel it up and get it in there you know yeah just dreaming it'll fight with me I am really sorry about this film clip my wife just had mouth surgery done so she can't film for me today and I wanted to do this, so I thought I might as well film it. But this is going to be one of them films that you're going to see. Not everything goes smooth. But you guys already know that anyhow, so ain't like you're stupid to it. And I'm having a hard time getting this apart. Huh. Okay, I cooled it down with the hose. It was too hot to hold. Now I gotta get this off of here. The roll pins out. I'm gonna need a new one. But that one my dad gave me. That's been around since I was. It's been around like 35 years, something like that. Sure hope this is on film. There it is. Wow. What a pain that was, huh? Okay. Now I got a snap ring to remove right here. So. All right, I'm sure this will give me trouble too. Get this snap ring off of here. snapper and this thing's bad. Okay, so is the brake pedal going to come off? Oh, I'm supposed to slide that out. Okay, that's what goes into the clutch pedal. I'm going to see if they sell another one. Look at that. It looks like it's at its end. I don't like that. Well, okay, well, there's a snap ring that meant this should come off, I believe. Hammer, hammer. I can't believe my vice broke. Almost. 
Ah, last eighth inch. Oh, here we go. Well, okay. Here's the spring. This was a nightmare. Hello, everybody. Uh, all right, this pedal assembly part two. Uh, I ended up with a lot of extra pedal assemblies that a friend dropped me off and said, use what you want. And then, uh, you know, I got pedal assemblies to work with now. Original German. Even some in here. I like original German. Bring back what you don't need. Okay, now we'll start assembling this. Remember, I like this, so let me make sure I got it focused in. Seal glide brake lubricant for caliper pins and slides. Don't use don't use wheel bearing grease. It just gets crappy and sticky and you know the deal. Alright, first, okay, want to make sure brake pedal is sliding on. Nice and smooth, no problems. All right, you gotta put your master cylinder pin in first. So, you're gonna put that on there. You're gonna take that clip and slide it on. Just like that, it slides right in there. And even when you put your brake spring around here, this kind of holds it in place, which is good. And, which one do I want to use? I have so many here now. I'll use this one. Okay, so you're going to put your brake spring on. It's going to hook right on there because you have an extra slot on this. And what happens is this goes to the floor. So when you push your brake, whoops, that was a blooper. Anyhow, put it on the right way. Make sure when you put it on, you see which direction the pedal's in. It goes this way. And then when you're putting the assembly in, that goes against your floor. And that gives the tension for the brake pedal to come back. But you got to have this on before you put it on the shaft. Okay. So, we're going to take some seal glide. Let me check to make sure everything's in focus here. I guess that's as good as it gets. I need somebody to film me. Any takers out there? Okay, so, so glide. Put it on there. Be generous. You're not going to hurt anything. If anything, it'll make it move smoother. I like this stuff. It works nice, and it doesn't collect all kind of dirt. That's why they use it on caliper pins and stuff like that. So I'll just clean this end off where the little snap ring goes in. And throw this on there. Okay, and slide that on. Now, that's really smooth. All right. While that's like that, we're going to take, check again, since I'm filming alone, alone, okay, there's the snap ring, okay, and I have snap ring pliers, you can use screwdriver, spread it apart if you have to, but I have snap rings, so I'm going to use them. They're very cheap. Go to Harbor Freight and get a pair. You're not going to really use them that often. Okay. And as you can see, it snapped right into position. I'm getting my pretty paint all dirty. We'll clean it up in the end. Okay. So, there. Nice and smooth. So that'll go, oops, like that. And of course, like I said, your brake spring hooks onto here. 
this will go down on the floor, this part. But look at that. Way better than the old one when I took it apart. I'm still using all German stuff. Remember that. Don't use China stuff if you can help it. All right, I wire wheeled this. Hopefully it's showing up and it's nice and clean. This is really in nice condition. So the other one was beat out. Let me show you once again what to look for on them. That one there is smoked. It's done. But I'll save this shaft, cut it off because it's a good punch hole. So, let's go ahead, lubricate this up. You can use axle grease if you guys want, or white lithium grease. It, it's pretty much like talking about oil. Everybody likes something different. It, I prefer this for numerous reasons, so it's just me. So... That's going to slide. Oh, that does feel nice and smooth. Good. Okay. This is going to be just like a brand new German assembly. So wire wheel all your stuff up. Make it look pretty. Make you feel better when you look at it anyhow. All right. Next is the fun part. I got to put the pin back in, which won't be fun. Or the clutch pedal. I think I cleaned. Oh, I got paint in there. Let me clean that out. Give me one second here. Okay. I took some sandpaper, rolled it up, put it in there, and turned it around. And it definitely cleaned it up. Okay. I put some Seal Glide or lubricant, whatever you want to use on it on there. Now these fit tight. So. Oh. Oops, pushed it too far. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, I'll find out if it's lined up. And it is. Okay, now, what we're going to have to do is I cleaned up the drift pin. So, I'm going to put it in there. And the camera's probably going to bounce, but... As you can see the drift pins punched in and there it is on the other side although I think I pounded it too far although when I took the other one out it was sticking out the bottom a little bit I'll give it a little tap it, once these are in there they're they're in there pretty good I don't think it's gonna come out that easy but let's check yeah it will well I'll get a new drift pin for this, is what I'll do, so it fits nice and tight. But at least you can see what's going on right now. Okay, I'll get a new drift pin. I'll order one or only a couple dollars, or I'll go down a hardware store. But, okay, we got that together. All right, so everything is together. Springs there. Next will be the gas pedal. Sure, cameras on there. Okay, what you're going to do here is you have your gas pedal, and there's your pin already wired well and clean it. You'll see a beveled end, and it actually goes through this way, which is going to go through like that, and the gas pedal, but I got to get the spring on there. So this up if it really matters because the cover goes over it anyhow. Now there is a spring that puts tension on the gas pedal so it actually goes like as you can see how this is shaped. This clip hangs down on here like this. Alright you'll see what I mean. Once you start putting this through, 
know, put your gas pedal on. Let me try to bring the camera down here. Okay, now I'm going to start pushing this through. Okay, that, remember, this here, this little clip goes down on the front. I'll show you what I mean when it's all done. You'll Remember, what the hell? Oh, should have had that turned up first. Okay, so we got that done. This is a really bad video I'm doing. Okay, you're gonna clip this. The spring comes up and clips behind the gas pedal. And that's what gives it its tension. Right there, like that. Now what we gotta do, I'm checking this for clearance. Seems fine. All right. Now this goes on next. Uh, we're gonna lubricate the roller, is what we're gonna do. So, gotta take this apart. There's a little washer. Don't lose the little washer. Okay. I'm going to take that off the little wheel. And there's a bunch of lint and crap in there. So you want to clean this all up? I'll go ahead and wire wheel that. Okay. So that's wire wheeled clean. Looks nice and clean. Take a little bit of seal glide. Just a little. Not a ton on here. Just lubricating it up so the roller spins easily just like that it wasn't spinning before so now it is put your washer back on and then your little clip there look at that nice and smooth okay so bring that over here make sure you put it on the right way and our pin just a regular pin. I don't see how this stays in here. But it does. Especially when you don't want it to. So put that in. And you see the hole right there. Line this up. I still don't see how it holds in there because there's no clip that holds that. So that's kind of odd, but that's how it works. Now your throttle cable is going to be pulled back, so it works nice and smooth. But pretty much that's it. I know this was a really bad film clip, and now it's due to me having to play tripod games. So anyhow, I'm going to order a new drift pin for this, or probably the hardware store probably got one, a roll pin I should say, so it stays in there. But pretty much that's it, that's rebuilding your pedal assembly, and like I said, once your throttle cable's in there, you know, everything holds up a little bit differently, and then you're just pushing and it's returning. There's nothing hard about this, but it's sure moving smooth now, everything is smooth, so and that's the way you want it. And you want to stick with original German. You don't want to order a new Chinese one unless you absolutely have no choice. So I apologize. This was a really, really bad clip. Uh, hard to get angles on what I was doing. Uh, but that's it. Uh, there's not a whole lot to this. It's self-explanatory. But do yourself a favor, try not to use axle grease on stuff like this because it collects dirt and it cakes up. It gets like a cakey film to it. And then it don't want to move. So I use the seal glide. I like it. It stays good for a long time. But not a whole lot to these pedal assemblies. I should have got a new roll pin and I did forget though. So you definitely want to get a new roll pin to put in there. I ordered one only a couple dollars. But basically that's it. Uh, not much to this. Do yourself a favor and maintenance 
your pedal assembly because truthfully people forget about this stuff and I had one laying somewhere around here and this stuff starts getting real stiff because it's all caked up inside with rust corrosion and old grease that they put in 50 years ago so thanks for watching guys